Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, we've got our first head set up in the Blockmaster. Uh, now this is an F head, uh, Willie's uh, F134 uh, intake valves in the head. Uh, when I swept across here with an indicator, uh, this section of the head was very high. This was perfectly good. And I believe this head warped in a fashion kind of like that. I think it twisted. Um, I, got, I got a happy medium all around. We're going to have to take a, a little bit of material off this one to get it flat. And um, this is our first go with the Blockmaster. We're going to see how it cuts and what kind of finish it leaves. So, let me get set up. I'll try and zoom you in there. And uh, we'll see what kind of finish we get. Okay, now first cut, I'm just going to kind of tickle that and see what it does. Uh, we're going to turn on our drive here. And engage it. I just want to see what, uh, uh, what where the highs and lows are in this head. I got a slow feed. Uh, I don't want to bore you with watching it the whole way through but I think you get the, the process here uh, we're just going to take a little bit off see where we're at and then go back and make a second and third cut if we have to I just have taken about a thousandth off here and uh, we'll see what it looks like in a minute okay guys that was the first pass you see it cut from edge to edge at the beginning and we started picking up the high section in here and it just was tickling it through the middle here so I think we're in good shape uh, we'll take another thousandths and see where we're at on the next cut okay guys we're cutting uh, another thousandths off there one thousandths I've uh, got the nickel standing on there I want to show you guys the importance of a rigid setup again and just to show you it's not glued like some guys always say I glue them down there it goes right in the head so if you guys are trying this and I know some guys try this on a bridge port and stuff like that you gotta make sure you have a rigid setup or you're not gonna get a good finish um, we're getting a real nice cut on this uh, super solid and uh, you can hear we got highs and lows there how it's cutting but we got to get the cylinder head flat and we're going to get the block flat as well if we want that gasket to seal properly. So we'll just keep at it little by little and uh, wait until we've got a good finish on there. Okay guys, here we are. That is just a couple tenths over two thousandths of an inch and we're cleaning up nice we're almost halfway on that side and then on the end we're picking up a little better here so um, maybe three thousandths or so uh, I got a fast feed going now I don't know if you could pick up uh, we'll slow the feed down on our final one to get a better finish but uh, I think we'll take one more one thousandths cut to clean up the rest of the head and then we'll do a very slow cut to give us the finish we want
Okay guys, I'm right at five and a half thousandths. I think this pass is gonna clean us up. You can see the whole surface, except for this one corner, is cleaned up. And this is the reason why, you know, 99% of all the heads and blocks and stuff should be should be decked. When you have a low like that, because the head was twisted, uh, this will be hard to seal. You might leak coolant out. Uh, it, it just won't seal right. So, um, if you're doing your engine, take the extra time to have this done at your machine shop. Uh, it's, it's critical. Uh, you know, these, these heads are, you know, 50, 60, 70 years old, depending on, you know, the year you're deep. And um, when you're rebuilding them, best to start out with perfectly flat surfaces. You'll be thankful down the road. And you won't have to take it off and do it later on. But uh, like I say, the whole thing is cleaning up nice. But we do have a little bit of low there. And I couldn't bring that up because then we'd have a low somewhere else. So you just got to, you kind of got to get the uh, the best cut you can on these. And uh, and make sure it's perfectly flat. But like I say, we're only five and a half thousands. I believe this is going to be the last cut. And it should clean that right up. Okay guys, there's the finished cylinder head. Try and get you in there and show you the finish. It came out perfect. So, the cylinder head is now finished. Guides are in, ream to size. We've got to cut a three angle valve job on the seats and then the cylinder head will be good to go. Um, next thing I'm going to set up on here is the block that this head goes on and when I get that set up I will bring you along and show you that process as well. Okay guys I got the cylinder head removed. I've got the block on the table. got it jigged up just right. Uh, we're going to take a pass to see where we are. This one's set up just about perfectly, uh, indicating off the oil pan rails. Uh, most blocks are parallel from the oil pan to the deck height there. Uh, I'm going to take a very light cut, see where we are, and just keep moving along till we get a complete flat surface. This is just the first pass, let's we'll see where we're at. Very light, you hear it just kind of whispering across the surface there. Uh, we'll just check it out and see if we have any highs and lows and, and how it cleans up on the first one. I'll give you a shot of it after we make the first pass. Okay guys, that was like our zero pass. You can see it's just starting to cut here. We got a couple light skims in here and a couple light skims toward the end. So you can see that we're jigged up nice and flat. You know, the block is in the right orientation, but uh, we do have highs and lows. So our next pass will take a full thousandths, uh, one, one thou cut, and uh, see where that gets us. Okay guys, uh, the block cleaned up quicker than I thought. Uh, second pass of uh, one and a half thousands cleaned it up. Uh, hard to see, but still got the numbers in there. And um, very good finish on that. The whole thing cleaned up nice. Um, the hardened factory seats that are in the exhaust uh, were no problem for the machine. It cut those without any trouble. So, super happy with the Blockmaster. And, uh, hope you guys enjoyed seeing it work. 
Uh, plenty more engines are going to be going on that soon. I've got about nine to do. And I just got a Hercules industrial engine in here that's going on there next. And uh, I'm sure this will be a busy machine. I was going to try grinding a crank today, but my coolant that was on the way should have been here yesterday. And apparently it didn't even get delivered to me. They sent me a notice it got damaged, so I'm sure they had that leaking all over the truck or something but um, still waiting on some coolant for the crank grinder and uh, we'll be grinding a crank soon so that's all I have for you today and as always thanks for watching see you on the next one